This is how to get rid of, I don't even want to say the word out loud because uh, it's how to get rid of lice. So I'm on my dock right now. I look like I'm in one of those fishing shows. I'm just gonna turn you around like this. I have had lice my whole life, start to finish, all the time. It's carried with me my entire life. It's like herpes or something that you just can't get rid of. I've always had it, but it hasn't always been in my hair. It just sort of with me a little bit. Got the first lice bug when I was like five, and my nanny, her name is Ming, was Ming. She didn't die, she just isn't my nanny anymore. And she eliminated the lice with her fingers. That's magnificent. I can't do that. Because I'm so familiar with lice, I know how to deal with it. Boom, snap, it's done, it's gone. But this year has been a gnarly year because he has given me lice and my family. For the past like four months, it's been like, my whole family has done medicated lice treatment, whatever that is. The the RNX, the PCPT, I don't know, I'm making up shit now. Let me tell you, a little lice test here. If it's like right here, kind of like where my sunglasses are, itchy like near the ears, back of the head, I'm just gonna say you have it, okay? Don't even try and say it's dandruff, it probably isn't. I've done this so many times, I try to do natural ways. I'll tell you this, I've tried tea tree oil. That totally works. If you put some tea tree oil with a mix of alcohol, spray that in your hair, usually works. You just have to do it a lot, and tea tree oil is strong, and it smells. Two, put coconut oil in, which helped a ton. I put probably a cup of coconut oil, and if you think about that, that's a lot. Coconut oil was literally dripping down my face. I did that, and it worked. It got rid of it. You can also, what I'm going to do today, which is mayo. I've never used mayo before, but the, the trick is, I'm sure you could use like peanut butter too. They said petroleum jelly. Anything that'll suffocate them, like anything oily or, uh, and greasy. I wonder if you could put bacon fat. At, at this point, anything that's thick and greasy and will probably clog your drain, you could put that in your hair and it's a solid. I saw in the office they used mayo on their on their head and uh, that's a thing, you can use mayo. So that's what I'm doing today. It's not mine, it's my family's and it's for eating. So I have a spoon so I don't use my puggy fingers. I'm gonna put this on my hair, I'm gonna do an Eiffel Tower. What you have to do is you put this garbage on your head and you let it sit for six to eight hours. That's a long time. They said you can go to sleep with it. We'll see how long I last. Get off. Ants have the ground and they decide to like crawl on a chair. The great part is there's ants all over my mayo. You really don't have to do anything. Here we go. Here we go. Feels like I'm smacking somebody's butt. Okay. I'm gonna make myself look like Billy Idol because my older brother looks like Billy Idol. Oh great, a big boat is coming by now. My mom's probably gonna yell at me. Look how slick that is though, no, okay. I wonder if I put this on and like tan in the sun if it'll speed up the process. Like, I hope the mayo doesn't seep into my scalp and then people just know me as the girl who smells like mayo. I feel like a Caesar salad. of my head. Oh wow, I look like a like a Victorian cutie. Eiffel Tower.
I put mayo in my hair. Why? Because I'm trying to get rid of lice. I put mayo in my hair. Like, not just for like a fun experiment. Do you smell it? I did, smell it. Did you bring a big thing of mayo? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you're supposed to leave this on for like six to eight hours. They look kind of great. It's supposed to get rid of lice. That's why I did it. Are you taping this to say that you have lice? Yeah, I don't really care. You know, why I. Why do you use the NYX shampoo I bought? Well, I just want to see if, like, mayo will work. I've never tried it, and I just thought I would experiment on camera. Isn't this the shit that people want to see? How to get rid of lice? Yes, I told them about tea tree oil, mm -hmm. and I told them about whatever the name of that lice treatment is. NYX. I was so off. <laughs> no, well, there's two types. There's no, the RC you, something. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I was yeah. like RC and PT. Yeah. Anyway, and so. And lice do well in clean hair, not dirty hair. Yeah. So, let's bust the myth. So let's never wash your hair. No, it's not that <laughs> moral story. Go dirty. <laughs> so now we wait. Do you, can you smell my hair? Well, here, get in. No. <laughs> it smells, smells like a BLT. Okay, I'm gonna give you the breakdown of what you should do, like, you know, when you find out you have lice. Newcomers here, I'll just let you know. Get rid of all your shit. Like, actually, that pillow that you use, kick that shit to the curb. <laughs> Jackie Chan. <laughs> now my pillow has mayo on it. Um, your clothes, wash them. You could just wash your pillow too. That's not what I wanted. I want to kick my pillow to the curb, literally. Wash your clothes. Put them in ziplocs and then suffocate those those lice. Do all of that, okay? And hopefully they never come back. <laughs> I started sweating mayo. I thought it might be a bug that's like dripping. It's just mayo that's sweating from my ears. This is the towel I've been using to soak up the mayo sweats. Just pure grease. It's like almost two hours. I really wanna wash this. I think I'm gonna go for a swim. I have to try and keep my head out of the water. So I think I'm just gonna jump in. It's only been two hours. I probably can't. What should I do? Wait another hour or two, and then I'll go into the water, because that's what I wanna do. I'm no! I washed it out in the lake water, and to be honest, it did nothing. It still heavily smells like mayo. My body is greasy. I really want to go on a run. Then there's going to be more mayo sweat. I think I'm going to shower again, shampoo my hair, and then we'll comb it out to see if anything's even there. I had my mom and my brother check my hair, and they don't think I even have lice. I did it as a precaution. So funny. I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair. A dragonfly came out. Oh, also a leaf too. I think the dragonfly might have flown into my mayo hair and suffocated and died, which is really sad. This is sweat, grease, and mayo. All one. Let's take a shower. Just me, not you. So I'm out of the shower now and I just found out that my plant, that looked like a nipple for a second. My plant is ruined because I don't have a lice comb. I don't even have a regular comb. You can't just put mayo in your hair and not comb it. You know, you have to do all the work. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Some other tips that'll help you. We're gonna do three different things. First thing, I'm gonna blow dry the shit out of my hair. I want it hot. That's hot. I hate hot blow dry air. You can also take like a flat iron and go to the roots and then you just sizzle those babies. I'm gonna braid my hair. When you braid your hair, it's harder for them to move around. I'm just bullshitting that. I'm gonna braid it because then I'm like, haha, you guys can't move now, you know? You're trapped. It's like a straight jacket. Awesome. 
I'm going to go through my hair, my roots and stuff after it's braided with tea tree oil. This is tea tree washer. Use it on my face and guess what? I use it on my hair too. And I have extra tea tree oil to put in here. Back of the ears, nape of the neck. I'm gonna light these guys on fire. I'm gonna put them in a straight jacket. And then I'm gonna plant a tree. Tomorrow, I'll pick them out. As you can see, I'm fresh out of the shower. I'm gonna be honest. It's been a couple weeks. But I'm back and I'm gonna do this to give you guys an understanding. What had happened, I didn't have a comb. A couple days went by, wasn't itchy. That doesn't mean you shouldn't comb. Don't follow in my footsteps, okay? I would suggest combing, but I was just lazy and I was having a fun time at my cottage and I didn't wanna comb my freaking hair. Now, because it's been over two weeks, I still, well, I haven't been itchy. The lice might have not been ever there. Um, I'm back. I have a wide tooth comb. I have a brush and I have my lice comb. So the good thing is we're going to comb and see if there's any action. And if there's not, that's a great thing for me. I'll s insert some pictures of what they look like. I like never ever brush my hair. I never brush it when it's wet. I don't even brush it when it's dry. So that ugly creature that was in my hair, <laughs> I had to take care of that and it was a pain in my ass. This has lice eggs in it. These are dead. Nothing's gonna happen. In the correct lighting. Do you see that? There's just, look at that. That's what I mean. I like to start here. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can go strand by strand and do your whole head. It actually feels quite good when you do this. The most important parts, like I said, are underneath the ear here, down to the nape of the neck, and then in the back. It's always in the back. But you kind of want to wipe every time you do it. Oh, look at that. That's what we love about this. So I'm gonna keep doing this and, you know, if I find anything, I'll show you. You're looking spin. 